Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for April. It's for single Aquarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I think the moon sign resonates the best. You pick to watch whatever you want. This is also if you're spying on an Aquarius. So we're going to look at what your month looks like in general, um, what it is you think you want versus what you actually need, how other people are perceiving you this month, the best course of action to get what you want, and then also how the Mercury retrograde going until April 15th is going to affect you. So let's go ahead and get started. Aquarius. Okay, in regards to love, here's the deal. So in general this month, you might not be feeling very successful in love, although it's quite possible that you'll meet someone that you fall in love with. The thing is, though, you might be like resisting it. You might be pushing them away a little bit as the Mercury retrograde kind of forces you to go within and think about the past and like, what is it I want for the future? Ultimately, you could end up very happy with this person, though. So that's good news. What is it that you think you want? And it's saying, well... It's, it's not very different, actually, than the Gemini reading. You kind of want to be in control of things, right? And so you're kind of understanding, like, okay, in situations where I don't see what's coming next, where I feel sort of hopeless, I want to take fuller control over my life, especially in the area of love. And so they're saying... Um, that's not how you're going to bring in, though, a forever person, like a life partner. They're saying if you're not over an ex or anything like that, new things won't come in for you. If you're going to be living in this area of like trying to control them, trying to change their mind, trying to make them a different person than they were, trying to convince them, you know, to take things to the next level, you know, like, hey, being together just isn't enough for me anymore. Like, I, I need to be married. And they're like, uh, I'm not in that space yet. And so, like, you're kind of like, or, hey, you know, um, I don't like your work schedule. Like, you work too much or you travel too much. So, like, this relationship isn't going to work. Like, your job has to change. And so, it's like you're trying to manipulate or control somebody from your past. And that isn't going to work for you. What they're saying is you're better off. Um, you're in a good position right now to welcome in new love, but like that actually works with your life, <laughs> that brings balance and harmony, happiness to your life, but that's not going to come through if you're stuck on an X. So anyway, uh, what is it that you actually need? And they're saying you need to be patient. You need to remember that things don't change overnight, whether you're going to go back to that X or welcome something new. And then you need to put yourself first. Your own needs are very important. What they're saying is if you're able to do that, then things change for the better and good luck happens in your love life. Um, you'll be in this kind of relationship that's actually very physically uh, sort of affectionate, like in regards to a hormonal aspect. You know how, for example, when you see an adorable baby and they're just like so cute, you want to like nibble on them. It's that kind of love and attraction. Like they're just so adorable to you. You like want to rip their skin off kind of thing. Sounds weird, but it's like a hormonal thing with like all of this like face nuzzling, like rubbing noses together and weird shit like that. That's you with this new person. <laughs> okay. So how are other people perceiving you? Well, they're perceiving you as single, which is good because, you know, you probably are if you're watching this, um, that you haven't really, haven't found your happily ever after yet, but maybe you don't believe that that exists. And so to have conversations about what it is that you want in a long-term sense is going to be very important for you and whoever you're meeting this month. And not in like a direct sort of bitchy demanding way, but more in a like, I'm not worried about where things are headed, just here's how I feel about things. So the best course of action to get what you want in the month of April is going to be like going with the flow, very similar to Gemini's reading, like understanding that sometimes things come out of nowhere. You know, like all of a sudden, you meet somebody in a very unexpected way. Now, this could be somebody that you have encountered in the past, but not in a romantic sense. You might have grown up with them in childhood and all of a sudden, you know, like they were in your third grade class. Then they transferred to another school. Then you run into them in a coffee shop and like, oh my gosh, they're way hot now. You know, this could be somebody like that 
sends you a Facebook message and says, hey, you know what? Like, I was a nerd in middle school and you were really kind to me. Um, Hey, let's be Facebook friends. Nice to meet you. I see we live in the same city. Let's have dinner. And then you do and you're like, oh my gosh, this person's amazing. And you'll find that they're also kind of in the same energy as you. So that's fantastic. Um, How is the Mercury retrograde going to be affecting you up until April 15th? And what they're saying is that's... For the majority of you, that's how long that defensive kind of energy is going to be there where you might not be entirely open to love. Um, So people that you meet up until April 15th might just be kind of like passionate sexual flings and things like that, which doesn't really make you feel super confident. Like it makes you feel like, oh man, I might never get true love and that sort of thing. And so you might not be very inclined to, you know, go out and talk to people, date them, anything like that, because you don't really see how they're going to be long lasting. However, after the 15th, They're saying, like, we know, it's annoying, you have to wait another two weeks to see if love comes through, but after the 15th is when you find that kind of relationship where it's, like, the face nuzzling, like, you want to wear them as, like, a jacket, like, you want to super glue yourself to them. (laughs) It's that kind of um, energy where that attraction is just so much there, you know, where they're just encompassing your thoughts and your mind and you know like your sexual passions and desires so anyway it says that try to be steady through this period of change up until the 15th um and it's going to be a little bit difficult as we reflect on our past making sure that we're totally releasing everything that doesn't serve us anymore and then being really conscious of our heart chakra energy radiating that love out so that it can connect to that other person and draw them in um we need to try really hard to not be obsessed with our past because that causes depression nor with our future which causes anxiety okay now if you are obsessed with both, trying to control or um, monitor how things come through for you in the future, and then thinking about the past, you're not going to be very comfortable, right? It'll get a little easier after April 15th, but it's going to be very, very hard for you. So things to keep in mind, be very mindful of the present moment each day, especially up until the 15th of April. And then, um, thereafter as well but it looks like for the majority of you watching this uh if you have entirely released the past after the 15th you can come into that type of relationship with somebody new okay so last thing i want to mention is um i do a drawing for a free reading every month you only have to sign up once and then you're always entered in the drawing for the rest of time until like i die or something and then um so that's my website there's a link below in the description box and I think I'm going to be doing another live stream soon where I just take like one question from everybody and answer it live here on YouTube so you can if you sign up to win the free reading I will probably just send everybody an email like announcing the winner and in there I'll put when the live stream will be I believe it's going to be April 9th but I don't have the details down for sure yet and um Or you could just follow on Facebook because that's usually where I update people about everything. Okay, love and light. See ya. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!